Hey guys, Janino here. Thanks for watching again. In this video, I wanted to share a project that I've been working on for a couple of weeks. It took a while because I was waiting for parts and as I designed this model myself, I redesigned some steps in the building process to make it look nicer and easier to put together. So, uh, and I wasted a lot of filament and time because of that. But anyway, it's my final design here and I'm very happy with it. I like the US, I don't like the US style vintage cabinets. I prefer the Japanese style, modern style cabinets. So I made up uh, this design. You will need a big printer for it. Uh, I have used my CR10. It's actually the biggest print I have done so far. This bottom part alone took me around 20 hours. But it's a simple design. A big bottom part here. The bottom panel on top of there. Um, this top monitor holder part, a front panel for the monitor, which has a little um, mount in there as well. And the back panel here, which has the speakers and a nice uh, airflow grill here. Um, I did upload a slightly different design on, uh, I will upload a slightly different design because uh, I only have a small cutout here. And on the final design, I made two cutouts uh, to add an uh, I.O. port for USB uh, uh, hubs or, or, or HDMI female out uh, cables or whatever. And I also haven't uh, I also haven't got any holes here, which the final design also has. And I'm not going to spend another 20 hours on printing out the bottom part and waste also filament. So I'll probably drill those holes out. Anyway, inside it runs on an MX Crew Q Android TV box. An old Android box with uh, one gigabyte of RAM, I believe. And I flashed Scotty Leg firmware onto it, which is basically a fork of Libre Leg. So it doesn't have any Android capabilities anymore. It's a coding machine with retro gaming capabilities. It's actually a better machine than a Raspberry regarding video playback. Regarding retro gaming, it's probably a little better on the Raspberry because the Raspberry has a lot more support than stuff like this. Um, what did I forget? The USB encoder is just a basic USB encoder there, something simple. I will add the links in the description below if necessary. Uh, these buttons, I already had this lying around. Um, it's a seven inch cheap screen in there, 1024 by 600 pixels, I believe. And the speakers on the back are two, two inch speakers with a simple amplifier there. And it does have a lot of uh, sound, a very nice sound as well. The joystick, the screen and the speakers need power, of course, and they are con di connected directly to the USB ports of the uh, Android TV box. And the fourth port I've used to add an extra USB extender, to uh, which I'll build in later on, to attach a USB uh, joystick or uh, maybe a keyboard or something like that, extra stuff like that. So it's uh, very usable. Very nice design in my opinion. Please leave a mark uh, remark about how you think it looks. Thanks for watching again. I will add a short building process video after this part as well if you're interested. But thanks for watching again. Please like, hit that subscribe button and bye bye.